your forearm rest. You're gonna start with the arm a little bit bent, and when you bend the arm, you get this crease. Your skin creases right at the elbow. So you're gonna find that crease and with your other thumb, and the thumb is pointing outwards, away from you. So you find that crease, and you're gonna go up towards your shoulder, half an inch to an inch. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different. For me, I'm almost going up, not at all. It's almost right there. And you're looking for a tender spot. It's pretty evident when you find it. You'll know it when you're on it. And you're not looking to come at it from the outside and pointing down to the floor. You're coming from your body, find that crease, and it's like I'm going on a diagonal from the crease towards the outside wall. So it's like you're getting underneath one muscle to get the one below it. It can often be a tender spot, and as you've seen in my other videos, I'm gonna give you two options. You can just stay there with a static pressure and just wait until that muscle feels like it softens a little bit under your finger, and or you can add movement to it. So for this one, it's really nice to extend the elbow, meaning to straighten at the elbow. And the more I get straight, the more intense it feels under my thumb, in a good way for me, but you'll have to decide for yourself. And I even like adding that little action of my hand. It seems to go and get it a little bit more. And you can play, you can do supination and pronation of the forearm. That also helps to deepen that sensation for me. Use your instincts. Be curious about what movements can I do with my fingers, my hand, my wrist, my forearm, my elbow to help me to get a softening in this area. There's no set number of repetitions. There's no set length of time that you should hold this release. You're always just looking for some kind of a change. So either that you do it until it becomes a little less tender, or you do it until you feel like it's less ropey under your hand. Now you can also get this spot with a ball. This ball is a little bit bigger than I would like for this. I would have um, more of a golf ball size would be ideal, but same idea. You start with the elbow a little bit bent. You come from the inside, and you're looking to get that spike. So I'm not coming at it from on top. I'm coming at it from my body and rolling outward. So I'm almost trying to move the superficial layers away so that the ball can get on that muscle that's just underneath. You can stay with the static pressure. You could massage by rolling the ball or moving it front and back, up and down and or you can hold that static pressure as you move the forearm, hand, fingers in whatever way helps you to get a better release. Always compare both sides when you're done. It's a great way of informing the nervous system that you've made a change. And I'll see you in the next video.